BKFC Knuckle Mania. You were terrified? You should be, because that sport is freaking terrifying. They're, th these guys, I know a lot of people will say, oh, these guys are former washed-up UFC fighters. They're not all former MMA fighters. They're just guys that want to throw hands. They're not box. Some of them are former boxers. Some are former MMA guys. Some are just dudes that want to knock you out, and they don't give any fucks about it. The main event that night was Mike Perry and Tiago Alves. Mike Perry made quick work of Tiago Alves in the first round. Put him out quick. Couldn't get back up. Got back up, fell over. Fight was over inside of like two, in less than two minutes. Because the rounds are two minutes long. Um, Mike Perry is the king of bare knuckle. He's 5-0 and now in bare knuckle. Uh, it's the perfect sport for Mike Perry because Mike Perry just doesn't feel any pain. I don't know. There must be, I don't know if he puts something in his face and numbs it with aura gel all over his face or some numbing cream, but he feels nothing. It's insane. This guy, I mean, let's be real. Even UFC, he only got knocked out once and that was off of a head kick. He doesn't get knocked off, knocked out on hands. And that was a TKO, no less, by Jeff Neal. Otherwise, this man was only lost, only lost by decision and by one a submission where Donald Cerrone broke his arm. But dude is tough as freaking all hell, man. He is so damn tough. But this card, it was exciting. I want to touch a few, a couple of fights. There was a fight between Shane Jordan and David Diaz. Went for a 47-47 draw across the board. <laughs> These guys just battered each other for five rounds. You know, those are the types of fights where you're sitting here like, my God. Like, these guys are absolute lunatics. And then the fight of the night, though, to me was this Alfredo. You remember Alfredo Langulo? El Pedro? Don? So... Alfredo Angulo, um, you're frozen, so I don't know if you're talking to me right now. Alfredo Angulo, um, El Pedro, is, is now in bare knuckle. Longtime boxer, took beatings in boxing. Tougher than hell. He fights this dude, Jeremiah Riggs. Jeremiah Riggs came out like a bat out of hell. He peppered Angulo, put him against the ropes. It was rock'em, sock'em, robot. And you're just sitting here seeing, can Angulo withstand this long enough to let this guy Riggs blow his wad? And I don't know that he blew it, but the second he slowed down, and Angulo was throwing back, the second he slowed down, Angulo cracked him one good time and put him out. That fight was ridiculous. If you can go watch that fight on replay, go watch it. And then their final fight I want to talk about real quick is Mick Terrell. He's the heavyweight champion. He fought Lorenzo Hunt, who's the middleweight and light heavyweight champion. Dude was trying to fight for the heavyweight championship, trying to be a triple champ. Didn't work out for him. He got knocked down in the first round by Terrell. And then he went back and landed on his arm. He extended his left arm when he went back and literally dislocated his elbow when he landed on his arm. And that ended the fight. But he got put down. I mean, he says he wants to uh, stay at heavyweight. But I would love to, I'd love to see him fight that guy, fight Terrell again to see if, you know, without the elbow situation. But, yeah, man, they also announced a big card for June 21st in Hollywood at the Hard Rock. I will be there. There's three title fights on that card. Brian El, El Gallo Duran, who is um, managed by one of my friends, uh, Victor Demesman, and all in management. He is fighting in the main event against Kai Stewart, who actually just came off a win over Howard H.D. Davis uh, a few months back. El Guy, you know, both of those guys, H.D. and El Gallo, are both managed by Victor. So I will be there, um, see if we can you know, cover this event and get some interviews with these guys. And there, but there's three title fights. We'll be talking about this card later on, you know, as we get closer to it. There's, they have cards, you know, pretty much every weekend till then, or most weekends. But that's a big, big card for them as well. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.